Hi, I'm Gloria Pearson and I'm a certified life coach. The video today is on building self-esteem and self-confidence. And I'm going to go over six different ways that I personally use to help with this. Now, if you enjoy my videos, I ask you to please hit that subscribe button. And remember, sharing is caring. But let's go ahead and get started. So today we're going to talk about building self-esteem and self-confidence. Now we all go through little bumps in our life. It could be a hurt, a disappointment, what we consider a failure, and our self-esteem goes in our confidence. But by being aware of it, you can change it. And I'm going to go over six different ways that I personally use to do this. Now one thing I want to talk about self-confidence, sometimes when we are lacking in self-confidence, we're giving our power away. And our power center in our body is a chakra that is located two inches above your navel. It's the solar plexus. Consider that like the sun of our body. That's our powerhouse. So if you ever have a little angst there or you're not feeling quite right, you may be giving your power away. So this is not one of the six. This is like just another little tip. But a great way to um, bring some power back there is to light a candle and look at the flame just like a sun and think of your powerhouse and think of that beautiful light, that beautiful heat, that flame is going right and activating your own solar plexus to take your power back. So try that and you may want to try that before some of these six tips. But let's get started with them. The first one is I want you to make a list of what qualities you honor and love about yourself. Again, let's take your power back. Make a list. What qualities do others like about you? And make a long list, at least 10. 20 is even better. List all your qualities. And whenever you feel that confidence is going, look at that. And maybe list some of your accomplishments also. So that's the first one, is make a list of everything you honor about yourself. The second is a posture exercise. Maybe you have to go into a meeting or an interview or maybe a date and you're not feeling so confident. Okay, I want you to stand straight, shoulders back, and practice this in front of the mirror. Shoulders back, feet shoulder width apart, hands on your hips head straight. Think of a string going through your body up to the ceiling. And I want you to stand like that confidently for a full two minutes. Practice this in front of the mirror. Just posture alone will give you more confidence. And at the end of two minutes, I want you to clap your hands and think, yes, I've got this. So that's the second one is posture. The third is negative thoughts. But we can change those. Awareness means change. So how many times are you thinking in your head some uh, negative thoughts that you're not even thinking, oh, I'm no good, I can't do this, and, and it's that tape inside your head. You can change that. And how I want you to do it is we always can replace something negative with something positive. But first you have to be aware. So for a day, three days, a week, I want you to take a little notebook and every time you hear that voice in your head, you write it down. Write it down, write it down. At the end of the day, look at it. And I want you to, at the end of the day, make, uh, take a sheet of paper and make a list. On one side, put the negative things. On the other side, put something positive that you're going to say about yourself. So instead, I can't do this. Write on the same line, yes, I know I can do this. I have confidence in myself. So change all those thoughts and use the affirmations. A good one is every day, in every way, I'm getting better and better. Every day, in every way, I'm getting better and better. So that is the third one. Replace those negative thoughts with positive ones. The fourth is to change one small habit. That's it. It will give you such confidence. Maybe it's, and this is something small, maybe it could be you smile more. Maybe you get out of bed 
10 minutes earlier to give yourself more time in the morning. One small habit, maybe you want to drink less, smoke less, eat more vegetables and fruit, which are so good for our bodies. So change one small habit and commit to it for seven days. Just seven days and that will boost your self-confidence. I know that. The fifth is I want you to take a risk, a challenge. When we are low on self-esteem or self-confidence, we have more fear than love in our life. So how do we get rid of it? We take a risk. There's a song out. When was the last time you did something for the first time? Take that risk. Now most people when they do this will do something athletic and that's great. Maybe uh, teach yourself a new sport. Maybe do online dating if you don't want to do that. Learn a language. Learn to play an instrument. Take up knitting. Give yourself a challenge. Maybe you don't exercise, so you're going to challenge yourself to exercise. This is what I did recently. I kind of let my exercise go very complacent. So I thought, nope, I'm going to step it up. So I started going to a very difficult CrossFit class. By the way, I think it was the oldest one in the class. The first week I did it, I did it twice and just left there. I could barely drive home. Now, this week, I'm doing it five days in a row and my confidence is boosted by it. So that's the fifth one. Take a risk, take a challenge, and you're going to feel so good about yourself. I know it. And the sixth, and I don't know if this is the most important, but to me personally it is. It is having confidence in a power much greater than yourself. It is connecting your soul with source, with God, with infinite intelligence, and knowing that if you don't have confidence in yourself, that source does. So how do we connect with this? You can do it whatever is more comfortable with you. You can meditate, spend time in nature, prayer, maybe just some deep breathing, but connect with that source and know that the universe has your back. So have confidence in something greater than yourself. So I want you to try at least one of these six things. All of them would be great. And don't forget that candle exercise to get that energy in your sun, your powerhouse, your solar plexus. I love to hear in the comments how this worked for you and also any other topics you would like me to do in future videos. And I ask you again to please hit that subscribe button and remember sharing is caring. Sending you lots of love and light. Until next time.